Hi chicas, thanks for joining us on IamFashionWeek.com. I'm Angela. And I'm Shane. Today I'm going to show you how to bleach your own jeans. This summer, bleach jeans were very popular, and we're pretty sure they're going to be popular this summer as well. So instead of going out paying tons of money for bleach jeans, I'm just going to show you how you can do it at home. All you need is a measuring cup and some bleach. Just as simple as that. What I've done is I've gone to Walmart. I just picked up some basic black jeans. Nothing very fancy, expensive. I chose black because once I apply the bleach to them, then they start to change several different colors. You'll get like a tan color. You'll also see a little gray. And of course, you'll still see the black. So that's why I chose the black to give it more of a colorful look. So I have here my bleach and I chose this measuring cup because of the spout so that way I can control exactly how much bleach I pour onto the jeans because once it's on, it's on and it's no turning back. So I just chose this and it's easier to pour out. So we're gonna get started. I'm in the bathtub, which is a good safe place to use bleach so it doesn't get on anything else. What you do is you first grab the bottom of it, pour the bleach on to just the crunch area that you're holding and then just watch it change colors. As you can see it's already starting to change a little so just keep pouring onto the, the desired area until you get it exactly like you like it. So after we bleach the jeans, we wash them, dry them, and here is the final product. You can see there's a little gray, there's a little tan, and we even sanded them down to give the distressed look there around the knee area. So, and all for $12. Today we're going to talk about a hot, hot new trend that you ladies are going to start to see this spring and summer. We are talking about the paint splatter jean. You don't want to spend a whole lot of money on this jean because it's really a fad. It's going to be here and it's going to be gone. So what we did is we went to Walmart, yes, good old Walmart, and we found these cute, cute gray um, faded glory denim jeans for $9. And what we're going to do today is walk you through creating your own paint splatter denim jean. We want our denim to have a distressed look. So what we did was we bought a block of sandpaper from Walmart. It was only about a dollar. And we're going to sand these jeans down to give them a worn look before we start to put the splatter on. So you just take it in a motion like this. And you have to work it in really, really, really well. Um, it might take a couple of days for you to get a really good distressed and worn look. But you can already see how it's starting to get the worn effect here and it's starting to unravel. And this will give your denim a really good, a really good look once you've washed them and, and finished the entire look. So um, select a couple of areas that you want to have the worn look and kind of work those areas in as much as you'd like to or as little as you like. And it kind of fades it and gives it a varied look and different spaces. So while we were also at Walmart, we went through the arts and crafts section and picked up some paint that we're going to use to create our paint splatter look. You can use an arts and crafts paint or either you can select to use a paint that you use for um, painting the interior or an exterior of a home. Um, both will give you the same look. Um, one's probably a little messier than the other, so we just decided to go with the kind that you can find in the arts and crafts section. So we got a couple of colors going here. Um, they came in a variety of colors. We got a pack of about six colors, and um, we're going to pick probably the white, the black, and the blue. And we also picked up these oral syringes that we're going to put the paint in and use these to splatter the paint onto our pants. Um, they only cost about a dollar. You can also find these in Walmart in the pharmacy section. 
Okay ladies, so we've loaded our first color into the syringe and we selected an electric blue, a pretty blue here, to cover these gray pants. And we're going to lay the pants down flat on a flat surface, um, somewhere where you can afford to get messy. Um, a good place to do it is outside, maybe in the grass, um, with a blanket underneath because the paint will leave stains. Um, and when you get the paint into your syringe, you're going to squeeze the paint out into a zigzaggy motion in the places that you would like to have the paint splattered look and effect going. So um, we're going to get to paint splattering. And we're back with the finished look for the paint splatter jean. We took our colors, uh, we mixed some electric blue, some yellow, white, and red onto the um, Faded Glory Jean from Walmart that retails for only $9. Um, what we'll probably end up doing is going back in and giving this jean a more distressed look around the pocket area and around the knees um, so it'll look more worn. Um, we only did this this paint splatter to the front, but you'll want to give it some time to dry and eventually do it um, in the back also. Again, we only spent around $12 for this look. That's the jeans from Walmart, only $9, um, a boot cut faded gray jean that has a little stretch, and the supplies, which um, included uh, sandpaper and paint. So this is a $12 look. You can go into the store and spend upwards of $130 for the same look um, for a fad that's probably going to be out pretty soon. So um, we suggest that you guys have some fun and try this at home. We had fun doing it here. Again, only $12 versus $130 and up. So give us a try at home, ladies, and let us know what, how it turns out.